everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you around the new restaurants menu app in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. I just finished installing this app. Now, right now this is in beta, so there is a special way to install this on current websites. So if you do not have access to Wix betas, then you will not have access to this new restaurant menus app. Now, I've already created a video showing you how to get access to beta features. So I'll leave that linked in the description if you want to use this new restaurant app on your website today. But what I will say is I have not really seen anything about this app and I'm gonna kind of be learning along with you guys in today's video. We're gonna be checking out all of the features and seeing what it is capable of. So the first thing is when I added this app, it added this menus new page. And that's because we are using the new version of the app. And we can go to manage menus and that's gonna basically just open up the dashboard, just like the old app. And I kinda wanna see if the back end looks any different. I don't assume it will. As of right now, it looks pretty similar. So when we press add item, you basically can set the name, description, uh, you can add labels, like if it's vegan, hot, you know, tell it basically what it contains and you can even add new labels if you want. You can set the price and you can even add an image. So it looks pretty much the same as the other one. You can even add additional menus if you do breakfast, lunch, brunch, and even drink menus if you want to add that as well. So from the looks of it, the back end looks pretty similar to me already, but we'll go ahead and close out of that for now. Um, we can press change layout, and I guess there's several different layouts, so that's pretty cool. We can have a center, Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we, we just saw the two columns, so let's see what three columns looks like. Now this looks pretty crazy. However, if we go ahead and press stretch and stretch it to the full width of the screen, maybe bring it in a little bit. I would say three columns doesn't look as crazy. Um, but one thing I will note here though about the stretch is with most apps on Wix, like the blog for instance, when you stretch it, the post does not stretch the full width. It still basically maintains this size the original size, it's just the container is stretched. So it is really cool to see that the content is in this app is also stretched to the screen as well, rather than being contained to the grid lines in the container stretching. So it's really cool to see the full thing is stretching. But let's go back into layouts and check out more. We can see strip, let's see what this looks like. Okay, this isn't bad. I, I do like being able to kind of see the images over here on the right, side by side. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this one, just because I think it'd be kind of cool if like each kind of section had their own image with it. So appetizers would have an image, mains would have an image, desserts and so forth. I think that would be kind of cool but maybe we can do that in the settings. I haven't really gone through it all quite yet. And then grid. This one's probably the one that I would probably choose just because when I go to menus for restaurants on their websites, even on mobile, I typically would love to see images of the food, not just the description and the name. So I think this one is the one I would choose. Now I understand Taking professional photos of your different menu items can be quite expensive, especially if you have a menu that changes somewhat often, or if you don't know if a dish is gonna be there long-term, it can be kind of hard to make sure you take professional photos of every single dish, especially if you have a lot of dishes. But yeah, I will say it is nice to always have images of your food, because that's typically how like a lot of people will choose if they want to try that dish or not. So I do like grid, but for now, let's go to two columns and let's go into elements. So we can have different elements here. We have the menu header, so we can turn off the menu name. Uh, this, is, this would be really good if you don't have multiple menus. You can just turn this off. 
You can also turn off the description. But if we add those back and turn off horizontal menu, let's see what that does. Didn't really seem to change. Maybe with different layouts, these different settings will change. For the section header, we can turn these off or we can turn off the description. For the item, we can turn off the description, the price, the currency, and divider. I do think it looks a little bit nicer without the divider, but things kind of get lost a little bit, especially if you don't have the image next to it. And last but not least, you can turn off the label text and icon. So you can have it just say dairy free and mild over here, or you can have it with the text and icon, or you can just have the icon. However, you are probably gonna need a key somewhere on your website that explains what each of these icons are if you don't have the text toggled on here as well. But I, I do think this looks probably the nicest. Okay, and then in the settings, let's see what options we have here. So we can basically set which menu show. That's pretty cool. So if we have multiple menus, like a brunch, lunch, breakfast, drinks, we can show all, we can show specific menus here. So just for fun, let me go ahead and set up a new menu real quick. And what I will say about this is it doesn't seem to allow me to kind of duplicate the dinner menu, or it doesn't seem to allow me to put, like if we go to the dinner menu, it doesn't seem to allow me to basically duplicate this for the lunch menu. So basically for each menu that you create, you basically have to insert everything manually. So I, I do think that's probably gonna change at some point, because I will say having to put everything in manually uh, would be pretty annoying to do. Uh, but I'm just gonna add a couple appetizers here just to kind of test things out. But I have added a few more items here and as you can see over here on the right hand side, we kind of have this horizontal menu here, which basically shows the dinner and lunch menu. Of course, we can change the layout of this. And if we go ahead and select this elements thing right here, this is what the horizontal menu was for. When we toggle this on and off, you'll see this horizontal menu allowing users to select which menu they want. But again, if we go ahead and select this real quick, we can go ahead and change the layout. So we can have this be a wrapped menu. Um, we can set this, the space, make sure the items fill the whole menu. Um, the text alignment, we can have this be in the center just so it doesn't wrap. But if we switch it over to right aligned and press preview, I will say I don't really like how it's kind of like doing this right here. In my eyes, there is plenty of space here for two menu items. So we don't even need it to kind of have that little scroll right here. Um, so I think that's something that they'll probably fix pretty soon. And then for the design, you just get the normal, the normal stuff you can edit with horizontal menus. It's pretty simple. But one thing that I think is pretty cool is we can easily just select a text element and design it however we want. Again, this is probably one of those things like if you have your fonts chosen in your site themes, when you add the app, it'll probably automatically choose your fonts choices that you have set up here. So right now we're just using Helvetica just because that's by default what's on your websites. But you can easily just choose any of these text elements here even within this app and you can say manage menus or you can even select these text elements right here and say edit text and it'll open up your dashboard and let you edit the menu name and the description so that's pretty nice that we can do that right from inside the editor we can easily just edit the design here or press manage menu and it looks like we can even connect it to data if we want to. So that's actually a really cool feature as well. Something I'm not really going to dive into in today's video. But what I will say is I do think that this app is pretty promising. I know there are a few things that I feel like need to be added to this to make it a little bit better. Maybe a few more layouts, a few more options. The dashboard needs a a couple fixes here and there as well as as well as this little menu here 
I don't like how these, I only have two menus here and it's kind of wrapping them and it's kind of sending one of them off screen, making us have to scroll, even though there's only two of them. I do find that a little funny, but overall, I think once they fix these and release this to the public, I think it'll be a really cool app. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.